Hey homeschoolers, welcome to the Homeschool Sanity Show. I'm Dr. Melanie Wilson, Christian psychologist turned homeschooling mother of six. I am here to help you achieve happier, healthier homeschooling. This week's topic is how to homeschool without help, whether you are a single mom or married to someone who isn't helping you in your homeschooling, I have some tips for you. But first, it's time for the teaching tip of the week. The teaching tip of the week is to introduce study and test taking skills at least by junior high. My favorite way of doing this is to use the excellent curriculum from Apologia that teaches kids science. I have used general science beginning in seventh grade and then physical science in eighth grade. Look at the quality of these books. They are incredible. These are the kinds of books that you can buy and keep and use for all of your kids. I certainly have. Now this is a brand new one that I will be using with my youngest to learn general science. These experiments are doable. Even you, if you are not a science lab person, can do these experiments. Then what will really help your student to learn study skills is there are questions to complete for each lesson, for each experiment uh, that your child does. There are incredible graphics and pictures included in the book that are full color. And then there are experiments to be completed. And then finally, you will have a study guide for your child to go over before they take a test. And these are official tests that you will give your student. The tests remove from this booklet and then you have the answers to correct your child's work. Now, I have used this amazing curriculum all my years of homeschooling once my child started middle school without having a dedicated lab notebook, a student notebook like this. So I am very excited that my youngest will at least be able to benefit from this. I highly recommend it. It will save you and your child so much time and actually it makes doing lab reports fun. Look at this. How engaging is this? I cannot recommend it enough. My homeschooling friend who has been doing labs with me for many, many years, she agrees that this curriculum has been a foundational concept that has enabled our kids to get A's in science and other classes in college. That is the teaching tip of the week. Now for this week's topic. How can you homeschool without help? I interviewed some single moms on the podcast this week, and you're going to want to listen to what they had to say. But I also asked some questions of married homeschooling moms who are not getting help from their husbands, and I shared their advice in the blog post for this week's topic. But here is what I wanted to share from everything that they had to say. First and foremost, lower your expectations. I heard from a number of people that as long as their expectations of other people, whether that was help when you're a single mom, help from your friends, or help from your husband, as long as those expectations were high, you were bound to be disappointed and frustrated. As soon as the mom who was teaching alone realized that she was going to have to find a way to make homeschooling work without help, things improved. Another way that you can make homeschooling work without help is to be flexible in terms of scheduling. Just because your friends are homeschooling primarily in the morning doesn't mean that you have to do the same thing. Instead, plan to do your schooling in the evenings or even on weekends if that works better with your schedule. Flexibility is such an important thing to learn in your homeschooling approach, whether you do have help in your homeschooling or not. For even more tips that you will just appreciate so much, even if you are married to someone who is supportive of your homeschooling, if you're a newer homeschooler, you will really appreciate the tips that you can find in the podcast 
at ultimateradioshow.com slash no help. That is all for this week. Thank you so much for joining me. See you next time.